Juliana Huff is reportedly devastated over this breakup that uh, she's been experiencing with Ryan Seacrest. Aww. I think it's been just about a month and she's already desperate to get him back. Well, according to our friends at People Magazine, the couple recently ran into each other at an LA hotspot, and Juliana pulled Ryan aside for an intimate conversation and then walked away visibly upset. I have no idea why she would have pulled him aside for an intimate conversation, not knowing exactly how it was gonna turn out. I mean, they said she was visibly upset. They didn't say she was crying, but still. You know, um, sources say that she's been miserable without him. I read all the magazines and I have to tell you something, she does not stay in the house anymore. You, you're always out, Juliana, doing stuff. <laughs> and I don't know Ryan to know what his love life is, but he kind of reminds me a little bit of Tom Cruise in that he doesn't want his chick to be out in the streets fist pumping and drinking all the time. <laughs> and you go to everything, the opening of a paper bag, the opening <laughs> of a nightclub. No, she's really been making, don't you, do you read the magazines? Yeah. I've been seeing more of her now than ever before, which is probably not something that um, will make Ryan want to take you back, but you would think that it would be maybe his money or something that she missed most. But um, according to sources, what she misses the most is his uh, style tips, or his style <laughs> tips. Yeah, well. <laughs> I don't know what to think, but get out of my head. <laughs> Look. Uh, a source told the National Enquirer that she really did rely on him uh, to give the final approval on outfits and stuff. Well, Juliana, I don't predict that you'll get Ryan back. He doesn't seem like the type that breaks up with you and then allows you to get soiled by society and maybe if you date other men and then takes you back. He wants somebody, you know, yeah, fresh. <laughs> Fresh, no kids, no exes that we know, anything like that. So, but good luck with you in your new life. And Ryan, we'll be watching who you get with next. Another shocking transformation that I wanted to share with you is Oscar winner Monique. Monique is 45 years old and she says that her husband, and no, that's the old Monique. Now, now just <laughs> let me tell my story and then I'll bring up the pictures on the proper beat. Okay, so this is the old Monique. And she's 45 years old and you know, she's got kids and she's got a husband and she says that her husband has encouraged her to live a healthy lifestyle. So recently Monique lost 80 pounds. <laughs> and not everyone gets surgery to lose weight. Monique says she lost her 80 through diet and exercise. And do we have, there she is exercising. <laughs> Look, there's no weights on it though. It's just, it's just, it's just the bar. <laughs> um, but congratulations to her. She says that she once tipped the scale at 300 pounds and she currently weighs 218. Although, no. No, she doesn't. She doesn't weigh any 218 pounds. That's more like 190 or, or maybe less, Monique. I mean, that. Monique is approximately, she's not as tall as me, flat feet, I'm 5'11". She's like five feet eight or nine. And she looks like she might be a size six. Right, fashion girls? Yes. Yeah, Monique, you look really good. Yes. Yeah, congratulations. Yes. So Kim Kardashian isn't due for another few months, but she and Kanye have been feuding about life after the baby. Now we've been catching you up to speed here where we can um, on Hot Topics, but according to HollywoodLife.com, Kim is furious that Kanye plans on going on world tour as soon as the baby is born. Well, I'd be furious too. I, I would be, you know, Kim, wow. Kim and Kanye are also on the cover of this week's In Touch magazine. Now I'm not gonna say a word, I just want you to look at the cover. Well, I am going to say this. The magazine alleges that Kim is worried about Kanye's close friendship with Givenchy designer Ricardo Tichy. That's Ricardo, very handsome. Well, he's the Givenchy designer who designed that couch drapery ensemble that she wore at the Met Gala. 
And, and I will tell you guys that people are buzzing that, you know, the close friendship with Ricardo is one of the reasons that Kanye has spent like 95% of the, her pregnancy, his pre Kim's pregnancy over in Paris. That's where Ricardo lives. Oh. And Ricardo recently purchased an apartment a few blocks away from Kanye's here in New York in Soho. Oh. Allegedly, according to In Touch With The Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> And in size, they say that if this, uh, that this is the pop possibly the most humiliating thing that Kim has ever been through. And I'm like, really? <laughs> all the stuff you've been through and all the tricks you've performed and this, this is now, this is gonna bother you? Girl, please.